Hi, my name is Craig St. Jean from Netlink Digital Solutions, and today I want to show you something cool and useful in Out Systems in five minutes. Let's go. So today is March 14th, which is also known as Pi Day. And I was trying to think about what would be appropriate for today, and I thought, well, there's charts and there's pie charts, and so let's uh, let's make a fun chart application and out systems, and let's make it a little bit harder too. Let's pull in an external animated charting library instead of using what's built into out systems. So what you see here is a donut chart that's animated. So when I go to the screen, it will actually animate and render like this. And we have some sample code with some HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So this is using D3JS, and you can see their website right here. It's d3js.org. Uh, and this particular uh, sample code is using a combination of the D3JS minified JavaScript, as well as another JavaScript library from D3JS called Color Brewer. So I'm going to show you how to pull those libraries into an OutSystems application and then replicate this HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So first, we're going to create a new application. And we're just going to create a reactive web application. Let's call it a D3 Charts. Now, I do want to point out while this is going, that I am using the beta version of Service Studio for Windows, or if you're on the Mac, uh, this would just be the standard version that you'd be getting. Uh, and that's for a specific reason when it comes to JavaScript capabilities, which I'm going to show uh, just here in a moment. So now that we have this module, the first thing I want to do is pull in the D3JS library and the Color Brewer. I've already downloaded them, so I'm just going to right-click on Scripts, and we're going to say Import Script. And I'm going to go to my Downloads, select my path, and pull in D3 min.js. And we will repeat for Color Brewer. Now I'll create a new screen. We're just going to make a blank screen. And we're going to set this to be anonymous, so that way I don't have to log in to get to it. And we're going to pull in our required scripts of D3 and Color Brewer. Now, we almost have everything that we need. So if we look at the sample code, here we have an SVG element on the screen that we're going to want to create. Now, there's a couple of options depending on what kind of a screen you're building. If this were a traditional web app, then I could actually bring in a container and set an attribute of OS tag name and a value of SVG. Uh, however, because this is a reactive web app, uh, reactive web apps within OutSystems don't support that property because they instead offer you an HTML element that you can drag in. So this HTML element here is going to render as a, uh, as a span, and I could change this to SVG, but unfortunately SVG is not a supported uh, element type within OutSystems for this HTML element. So, we're just going to do it using D3JS itself. And to start, we're going to give this container that we have already here a name of chart container. That way, we have something fixed that we can append our SVG element into using D3. Next, I'm going to replicate the CSS from our sample code. And we're just going to use this. Uh, we're, we're not going to include the button for this. Uh, so we have our chart. Now, I don't want to go against a specific ID. I much prefer to, to go against a class name. So we're just going to change that. And last, we are going to add an onReady, which is going to actually call our JavaScript. So here, I can pull in JavaScript. And I'm going to add in an input parameter of the uh, container ID that we want to add this SVG element into. And the reason I'm doing that is uh, because if that ID were to ever change, or if we wanted to turn this into, reuse, uh, into a reusable web block, 
then I want to be able to choose exactly what, where I'm putting that. So we're going to pass in chart container.id. And then I'm going to go in and copy this JavaScript and paste it in here. Now, I mentioned earlier I'm using the beta version of Service Studio. And if you're using the standard version, you're actually going to get some errors here because it doesn't recognize ECMAScript 6. It wants you to write everything in standard JavaScript or ECMAScript 5. So that means you'd have to change these lets to say var. And you'd also have to change these anonymous functions that are throughout this, uh, for example, right here, uh, into a traditional style. So, in the, for example, uh, this would be written as function d of i and say return colors uh, uh, index i. Uh, it's obviously a lot easier to write it in the way that the sample code has it, but if you're going to use the standard version of Server Studio, you're going to have to make that adjustment. Now, uh, since the sample code is just going to query that chart SVG directly, uh, but our current code doesn't have an SVG element, I'm going to use D3 to create it. So I'm going to remove this line. We're going to say var SVG equals D3.select. And here I'm going to pass in our container. And I'm going to say dot append SVG. And then I'm going to set some attributes. So we have a view box of 00, 200, 200, which is what our sample code had. We also have a preserve aspect ratio of x min, y min, and meet. And I also want to set the class name to be that uh, CSS class that I created. So just to, to go back to our sample code, here you can see we had an SVG with the preserve aspect ratio and view box attributes. Uh, next, uh, I need to change the sample code a little bit here as well because there's a few places where it's just going to reference this D3 select on the chart again. Instead, I'm just going to pass in our SVG uh, variable that we created up here. So let's change that everywhere that it needs to be. And that should be it. So let's go ahead and publish. And we'll give that a moment. And now that that's done, we will open in browser, and we will see we have our nice animated donut chart. So thank you. I hope you had a great pie day. Uh, please like, subscribe, leave some comments on what you'd like us to do next, and take care. Thank you. So I figured let's do something with some pie charts. And this is a donut chart.